Hey guys, Scopes ICX, welcome back to Let's Play Comic Trooper. Uh, I think we need to talk to Gerda first. Oh, Gerda. You in the black yet? I'm afraid not, Captain. I've gone over the books, and if I'm right, it looks like a substantial amount of cash is missing from our accounts. Wait, are you Crap. someone stole my money? It's probably just a mistake. <laughs> Let me go over the books. <laughs> not a mistake. Hello, we have received your distress signal. Please declare yourself. It's me, Brad. He's mad you gotta help me. Oh my god, Brad's in trouble. Brad! <laughs> Can you hear me? Where are you, man? I took a job in some dumb Cupid romance manga thing. I thought it was gonna be all like chips digging on me while I watch the surfboard and stuff, but it's totally not. Kid, Cupid? A popular comic. Manga. Whatever. I'll explain later. Please. It's weird. I'll do anything to get out of here. I'll even give back all the money I stole. What? Now don't overreact. Damn, Brad. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll come and get you out, but you're gonna pay back the money you stole. Double it! Fine! Whatever! I only stole it to cheese you off anyway. Now just get here! Brad, out! Captain, before you attempt to rescue, I have to warn you. Manga comics are quite a bit different than what you're used to. Thank yeah, you, they are. But I think we can take care of ourselves for a change. Isn't that right, Star? Nah, I usually give us 50-50 odds. <laughs> Alright, so let's, uh, no way, no way. She'll explain what's going on in, uh, uh Comic Jumper Pod. So, um, let's get a little bit of money. Or not. Wait. Actually, hold on. Let's check out what upgrades I can get. Alright, we have $8,207. Another health upgrade. Another damage upgrade is ridiculous. Yeah, I'll grab a health upgrade. Yeah, look at that. 20,000 from 5,000. That's ridiculous. Alright, so let's go and get to our little comic jumper pod. So, I am officially on spring break. I haven't recorded just because I have been really busy. So, anyway. The Cutie Cutie Kid Cupid's volume number 10. Base mission pay 5,000. Okay, Gerda. Anything else I need to know before we give manga fans the treat of a lifetime? The biggest change is that you'll be navigating through the comic from right to left. Oh boy. Also, remember that children in general, and most people for that matter, don't. Ah, <laughs> cool. paper lad like this. Pixel guy, would you guys mind having some fresh cut pineapple in the lounge for me when I come? Wow. Back? Thank you. You guys are the best. Oh, you big time. Don't worry. Mm. You'll pay us back. Hit it. <laughs> So yeah, that's it. We might get more explanation as we go into the comic, but I'm not sure. So yeah, right to left, basic manga reading style. And it's only in black and white. They wanted to do black and white because most manga is in black and white. We look like Cloud, sort of. And Star looks really retarded. Oh god. Who is this? <laughs> Maybe it's a new friend. Yay! Good, uh, this is so retarded. I think Winklemeyer dosed me with something when I wasn't looking. There's all these <laughs> things flying around me and talking in some weird language. And I'm also getting my butt sniffs. And not in that. Oh language. god. Winklemeyer didn't dose you with anything. And they aren't speaking in a weird language. It's manga. Yay! I'm Coco! Yay! I'm Nina! We are kid cupids and we play all day! And we spread love! Can you activate my translator? Wow. I don't get what's going on here. I already did. What is your problem? I told you. It's manga. Cutie Cutie Kid Cupids is a shoujo manga. Love is a major theme, and it's... Of course! Creepy is more like it. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. We are looking for a friend of ours. His name is Brad. Have you seen him? He's got the sturdy arms of an Adonis. Really <laughs> shit. Wow. Blacks and locks of an angel. Brad teaches gym class at our school. He's our favorite teacher. Ah, uh, boy. I wonder where he got his degree. Okay, that's weird. Take us to Brad. Sure. We'll call Pling Pling our rainbow pony. Say what now? 
Playing at your service. That looks so freaking retarded. Yeah, climb aboard. I think they want us to climb aboard. Yeah, I got that. Genius. Oh no! Look out! Uh, hello, uh, little Cuban girls. We All right. Brad. <laughs> Not some smoky creature thing is trying to kill us. <laughs> So yeah, we're fighting these, um, I think they're ink monsters, I don't know. But yeah, we're shooting, like, hearts and bubbles, which is, like, seriously retarded. And yeah, this is, this is, like, the hardest mo issue in the game. This is the hardest genre ever. Ah, fire. Now, considering the fact that the enemies can blend in the background very easily, I mean, look at that. Ah. 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 A sad part about this is that I didn't. I had like full health starting into this. Look at that! One touch from those guys, and you already lost a quarter of your health. That's sad. Honestly, I think that the health upgrade is more like a defense upgrade, really. So yeah, it might not be a terrible idea to get multiple health upgrades before you start this off. I mean, like, all of the health upgrades. Watch out for their ink flames, I guess. Yeah, aim assist is very helpful for this. Yeah, so yeah, it's just very strange in general. Why does Captain need food badly? That does not make any sense. Well, then again, we're in Among Us, so yeah. I seriously doubt it's supposed to make sense. Yeah, we're in a manga riding on a horse that sounds like a freaking pedophile. Uh, I'd seriously love to see Gerda get in here and try to do this. Alright, thank God, Payne's turn. <laughs> so yeah, now we are flying, and now I am dying, so yeah, just make sure to shoot the skulls that some of them will throw, because those are even worse than the normal projectiles in the home, which sucks really badly. Oh, this one's not so bad. That's kind of like the outer space one in the uh, improbable paper towels. Hey, we can fly. Hey, you're a tool. Listen, <laughs> you're a tool. Oh man, that, that's another funny line in the game. Yeah, we're so we're fighting like a bunch of Wubat now. Which is seriously retarded, considering how much Wubat annoyed me trying to get it to evolve because it's a friendship evolution. But ig ignoring Pokemon Black and White. Um, while I'm on the topic of Nintendo, 3DS came out. I did not get one, but I will get one in the future. Uh, I would love to see how an emulator for those games works out. I really would. Oh my god, boss fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, shoot now, ask later. Oh, that was a lot better. Attention! 
This one is kind of like uh, Mrs. Shrope's was, but it's not as... No, not Mrs. Shrope's, Benny. But it's not as bad, and we're almost done with this fight anyway. It's not a... It's nothing very challenging. See? And now we have even more crap to put up with. Like three skulls coming from each side. If you ever help me out, now would be a terrific time to use it. But I do not have one. At least I don't think I do. Yeah, I don't. I like the 8-bit music in the background sound. That's kind of cool. Definitely makes up for the difficulty of this level. And this level has like my favorite joke in the one of my favorite jokes in the entire game. Alright, so yeah, just avoiding skulls, killing ink monsters. This all sounds like the Teen Titans movie, Trouble in Tokyo. Oh my god. More Rubat! Die! Give me Eevees! Ah! Rubat, use tackle! Critical hit! <laughs> right, is that it? Nope! Even more Wubat. Yeah, we're shooting like hearts and bubbles, which is really retarded. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, and yeah, don't get hit while fighting uh, this one. Her name is Lolo. Well, I seriously just did that. Ah! That was kind of scary. Yeah, you know what? Just screw it. I'll be fine here. Ah. That was kind of cheap. Man, this fight is so weird. Then again, this entire comic is... Oh, wow, that was it? That was easy. And page turn. Oh great, yeah, this part. We're on the water skiing part, and I just died. Yeah, somehow we get knocked off of a uh, Pling Pling, I think his name was. <laughs> yeah, really. You know what happens when you think you shoot? You get fo you get you lose focus on the game and you die. That is what happens when you think and shoot. Yeah, die, Wubat. No, I need the, I need to nickname my Subat Shoujo now. I actually I need to do that right now. Well, not right now because I'm recording, but you know soon. That's actually a pretty good idea. Yes, Page Turn. Oh, we have the most retarded boss in the game. Yeah, it's a floating Asian kid's head. That shoots lasers. Yeah, did I mention that he shoots lasers? Because he does. And it makes the most retarded sound you will ever hear in a video game. Now what's he doing? Oh yeah, he's shooting his snot at you. Alright, come on. I can do this. But it's so freaking weird. This is... Yeah. This is why I meant strange. <laughs> Lugie's incoming. Oh yeah, and he spits out those mind things. I know. Good point. 
Yeah, some of them you have to jump over, some of them you have to like run under. And then he's firing his laser. Oh my gosh. God, I don't mean to sound stereotypical or like racist, but where is an internment camp when you need one? Oh my god, that was that was terrible. I'm sorry, but I had to make some kind of a joke relating to this. Yeah, that's as easy as attack to dodge. But the, the sad thing is that the... <laughs> the sad thing is that it's the hearts and stuff are doing is like about the same damage the bullets are. Which is seriously sad considering it's hearts and bubbles. Yeah, I want some never-ending peer. Wow, I did that pretty much first try. That was awesome. Okay. And you just struck down the horse. That's great. Is that it? Oh my, I'm done. Oh god. No, he's dead. He's dead, you idiot. Yeah, he's dead. Oh god. <laughs> Power level. That was awesome. Are you the little, little girl, girl that knocked me off? I love the little like blush mark up by his mouth. Be more careful. Oh. You might hurt someone. That was the intention. I tell me what to do. Until next time. Well, that was weird. Nice. <laughs> so, what do you say we find Brad now? Yeah. Uh, can you take us to Brad now? Oh God, Brad! 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 Brad, now. Brad. <laughs> oh God! No! First you must sing a song for Plinkly. Oh Lord! Where he can dance and sing and eat gum gum berries all day and never get a tummy ache. The last rider of Plinkly must. Oh! It's a trap. They want you to sing some stupid song. What? That's a trap. If to Brad, then I say we have no choice. Come on, hurry up. For the love of... Fine. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, this is so retarded. And you can tell how he dances by the way that you hold the control stick. Like, I hold it down, he does that. You hold it... No, it's only left and right. You do this little weird thing, and he just runs in place. It's so retarded song. Oh, uh, the sad thing is, I actually have the MP3 of this song. Hey, we got three thousand dollars for it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, to be continued. That was great. And I still, I still come, I keep coming in last out of all my friends with this. Wow, I really suck at this. And I did that one, the Asian head fight first try. Ah, oh, whatever. I shouldn't really let it get that, get the best of me. Time to call for help. Three total. Punch is thrown. 539. And thankfully, that is it. For that issue. For that, yeah, that issue at least. So anyway, that is going to be it for this episode of Comic Jumper. I will see you guys in about a week as I'm going up to New York on spring break tomorrow. Yay! So I will see you guys next time.